The organ at its core is a wind instrument. One of the unique features of the Spanish style organ by Greg Harold is the visual presence of the two wedge bellows. These bellows are in the style of Spain and have an unprecedented seven folds, which help them act as both a reservoir and a kind of wind stabilizer for the music. The organ can be pumped by hand. One of four instruments in our collection that can be. Or you can use an electric blower if you can't find a friend to help out. For Professor Moyer's demonstration, the organ will be pumped by hand. What makes a Spanish organ Spanish? Just like other organs throughout Europe, many cultural, geographic, linguistic, religious, and political influences shape the development of organs with unique mechanical and tonal characteristics. Especially in the Iberian Peninsula, the area of Southwest Europe comprising both Spain and Portugal. This one-of-a-kind instrument is a synthesis of building styles that comprised the development of the Iberian organ throughout the 16th and 17th centuries. With its pure, mean tone temperament and authentic voicing, it allows one to explore the entire gamut of organ literature from within this region, and as such represents one of the most unique pipe organs in the United States. Numerous compositional forms from this period reflect both religious and domestic musical practice, such as glosados, or embellished songs, diferencias, or variations, favordones, or a psalm tone harmonization, entientos, a multifaceted contrapuntal form that comprises the vast majority of compositions from this era. But there is no other form less iconic in the Spanish repertoire than the batalla, or battle piece. These multi-sectional improvisatory works became enormously popular in the 17th century and were the perfect vehicle for demonstrating all of the organ's many unique registrations and effects, especially its horizontal trumpets. Most surviving copies of battle pieces are based on a vocal motet by the French Renaissance composer Clément Janequin. His motet La Guerre, or La Bataille de Marignan, is based on a battle in 1515 between the Swiss Confederacy and the French army led by King Francis I. Janneke's motet is filled with vocal sounds that imitate drums, fifes, cannons, and galloping horses, all which translate beautifully to the effects that one can create on this organ. So let's explore a bataille by the Portuguese organist Pedro de Arruajo. Each section of the work will employ different registrations and technical effects on the organ. Janica's motet begins with the words, Écoutez, listen, listen, 
to the victory of the good king of France. And with the very same opening notes of the motet, the Yeno, or mixture chorus, invites everyone into the story. A unique element on Spanish organs developed towards the end of the 16th century was the medio registro, or divided keyboard. By dividing the stop action and keyboards between middle C and C sharp, one can create a host of contrasting registrations, perfect for imitating different effects within the bataille, especially using its grand reeds. This organ has three ranks of reeds the interior trompeta real, the horizontal short-length dolzina, and the divided horizontal clarine and baiocillo. The first day of the battle comes to a conclusion, and everyone needs a break. What a perfect time to show off the nazarados, or wide-scale flutes and mutations within the organ, in a light-hearted dance. We can even use the cascabeles.
The following morning, the battle resumes again with echoing trumpet calls, galloping horses, and even bird songs. In the words of the motet, let trumpets and clarions resound to delight our comrades. Take courage, pursue, strike, hurl, they are defeated. Victory to the noble King Francois. Let all the feeble troublemakers flee the battlefield. With victory attained, the entire company and choruses of the organ unite in a triumphant song to conclude the Bataille.